live. So how are you doing today? Great. And what's your name? I'm Victoria from Chesterfield. And what are you doing here today? Kids need to get back to school. The state of New Hampshire is not using science. The uh, epidemiologists in Switzerland, Iceland, uh, Denmark, Sweden, Quebec have all figured out through serological testing and other testing and through people who are sick that children are not vectors of this disease. They can get it, they can carry it, but they get it from adults. They don't have the viral output to actually spread it. It's totally safe to open the schools. Children aren't really getting sick. They might test positive for it in some cases, but they're not really showing signs of the illness. Teachers can be in their classroom. With the children, the teachers don't need to mingle. If a teacher is, has compromised health, or maybe their spouse does, then the schools can arrange for substitutes. People are really flexible. If you don't want to send your kid to school, if you're still afraid, if, you know, if you don't believe the science, if you're a science denier, you can keep your kids home. I'm sure the schools will work with those families to continue uh, the distance learning. The other thing they're not looking at which I don't have a sign for, so just one person here, is that um, being outside, you're not, there are no documented cases of spreading the disease outside. They want lifeguards this summer to wear masks. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Uh, there aren't any documented cases. Everyone's getting it from, it's from inside. And what happens when you put sick people quarantined with healthy people is the sick people dump high viral loads right on top of your spouse sitting on the couch and then that person gets extra sick and goes to the hospital. If you notice, it's the second person, the third person in the house to get sick who dies or gets hospitalized because the sick person who has a light case of it is dumping viral load on them because they're sitting inside on the couch together real close getting viral load dumped on them. That's why healthcare workers are sick. Sick people are dumping viral load on them. That's why EMTs are sick. They're in the enclosed ambulance with sick people getting sick. Other countries are using hydrochloroquine as a preventative in India. Um, poor countries are using it because they're poor. They don't have ICUs. Hydrochloroquine costs pennies to make a pill and they are handing it out practically like candy. They're giving it to sick people and their caretakers at home. They're giving it to their healthcare workers to prevent them from getting sick and prevent the healthcare workers from spreading the disease to other people. And we're not. We're not doing that. We have a nursing home problem. Why are the people in the nursing home getting sick? Healthcare workers are bringing that in. They're spreading it around. Why aren't our, our healthcare workers? Governor Sununu, rescind your executive order preventing healthcare workers from taking hydrochloroquine as a prophylaxis. It works. We have a we have a nursing pro home problem here. Senior citizens, my mother-in-law is in assisted living. Why should these people be, be dying? Because you won't let healthcare workers protect themselves and protect the people they're supposed to be taking care of. This is criminal. The FDA and the CDC preventing hydrochloroquine use is criminal. Look what's happening in the other states. Most of our cases here, most of our deaths are nursing home deaths. It's disgusting that you have an executive order that is prohibiting the use of healthcare workers from protecting the people they need to protect most. Very well said. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you for being here today, Joe.